Today, we look at the passage of Hosea chapters 3 and 4. Hosea was a prophet of God who lived during the middle of the 8th century BC, and his prophetic writings have many similar themes to the other Old Testament prophets. Hosea is writing to warn the Israelites about God's judgment through the destruction by the Assyrian army. In the first three chapters of Hosea, he narrates his family life as a symbol, not unlike the symbolism in the lives of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, as a way to convey the message the prophet had from the Lord to his people. Hosea's rocky relationship with his wife Gomer is used by God as a symbol of his own relationship with Israel. And as we see in chapter 3, that Hosea has a reconciliation with Gomer despite her adultery and her betrayal. Verse 1 of chapter 3 reads, Go show your love to your wife again, though she is loved by another man and she is an adulteress. And love her as the Lord loves the Israelites, though they turn to other gods. In chapter 4, after the reconciliation in chapter 3, God turns his attention towards the Israelite nation. God describes his complaint against them as having turned against him and his divine word. God describes the destitution and the destruction that will befall the physical landscape of Israel because of their past sins. In verse 6 of chapter 4, it reads, My people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I will ignore your children. This eerie and chilling warning that seems to play out time and time again in the Old Testament is not just a historical or ancient tale. There's actually plenty of application from these Old Testament prophecies and the plight of God's chosen people to be applied to our own lives today. See, the Israelites constantly fell victim to the same darkness that's plaguing our society and modern Christianity today and that's false teachings and misinterpreted truths. We need to be on guard that we do not allow false narratives to cloud our judgment of true knowledge or true wisdom. And that's that God's word is unchanging and true and the model by which we need to align our lives.